Make sure to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon. JavaScript Word Scramble Game In this video, you'll learn to create a new mini-game named Word Scramble Game in JavaScript. Earlier, I've shared many videos related to JavaScript games if you haven't viewed these games yet, please check them too. I believe you'll like those games and learn many things about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, let's talk about this game. If you don't know, Word Scramble is a game where the letters that can make a meaningful word are shuffled or scrambled randomly, and players have to find out the correct word using those random letters. Let's press this button and start the game. In this game, there is a hint too that helps the user to find the correct word easily. Players have to find the correct word in the given time which is 30 seconds. If the current word is difficult to find there is a refresh button to get a new word. This is the timer which you have to guess the word before it finishes, and if the timer finishes before you can guess the word we lost the game and we get this message. As you can see the timer is finished and we lost the game, we can play again by pressing start button. At the bottom of game we have score which shows how many words we guessed correct. If we type the correct word we get one score each time and if we type incorrect we lost one score. Now let's type the word. And press check to the check if it's correct or not. If the word is correct we get this message. We also get one score each time. Now let's type incorrect word. Press check to check it. We get this message, the word is incorrect. Anytime we type a wrong word it remove one score from our score. To win this game you have to type 10 correct words. Let me do it and I will show you. As you can see we guessed 10 correct words and now we won the game. Now let's see how I made this game. This is our project folder inside it we have the files for this game I will talk about each one in a moment. Our first file is index.html. Inside it we have the basic HTML5 structure. First we imported our style.css and our two JavaScript files. Inside the body we have a div of container inside the container is our game component. This section is for game start which shows the play button and it runs start function on click. After that we have other components of our game. At the bottom this block of code is for modal which will be later used to display the game state. And that's all about our HTML file and let's jump to our next file. The next file is style.css. Inside it we first of all imported Google font library some basic design for our page and we apply design for each of our elements one important thing i want to mention here is the container content we use display none so this way we hide this section later in javascript once we press play button it will be changed to display block and this is all the design we applied for each of our elements at the bottom of the code we used at media screen max width to make it responsive and that's all for styling. Our next file is words.js. And inside it we have object array of words and hints which later we use it on our script.js, the words which will appear in our game comes from here. The last and most important file is script.js. Inside this file first we selected the HTML elements using query selector and put them inside variables. We also made some important variables. This is our first arrow function init timer. What it does is it makes a time interval for our timer and return the max time and display that at the time text. 
And when the timer is finished it display this message and also run the end game function. This is start game function. Which first show the content box or our game and hide the play button. After that it run this function. This block of code is for end game. When our game is end or we lost this function runs. First of all it clear the timer interval and hide the game content. It display the play button and print this message. This is win game function which will be run if we win the game. First of all it clear the timer interval and hide the game content. It display the play button and print this message. This block of code is for game init which is the most important section of this code. First we give the value to our init timer function, this value is the max timer time for our game. After that we gets the length of our words and use random and floor to make it random and put it inside random obj variable and after that we use that variable and split that with this. And after that we use for loop to randomly select words characters from the word length from the words array which is inside our words.js file. And that's how we randomly scramble our words. After that we print our words array with join and we also display hints for that word. We get our random obj word and change it to lowercase and put it inside this variable. After that we set the input field value to nothing and also set a max length to the input field with the length of our correct word. We also print the score to the score area. And this is the section for winning the game, so when our score at more than 9 which is 10 we win the game so this if function will run this win game function. After that this block of code is for checking the word, it means it checks if our word is correct or not. So first we change the input field value to lower case. So it doesn't matter if we type upper or lower case the goal is to type the word correct. After that we use if function so if we didn't type anything it display this message. In next section if the use word does not match the correct word we remove one score only if the score is more one or more than one. After that we display this message on modal. And else if the word is correct we print this message to the modal and also add one score to the player score. And at the end we run init game function inside this function. In this section we use event listener for refresh and check buttons. So the refresh button runs init game function and the check button runs the check word function. After that we use these two functions for our modal. So the first function runs when the user clicks on span of x, and it closed the modal. And this last function will be run when the user clicks anywhere outside of the modal and it close it. And that is all my friend to make this game I hope you learned something if you have any question you can ask me in the comment below. If you like this video make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell icon.